world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to st john church hyper sunday school i hope your week was amazing this is the sunday of trinity god the father god the son god the holy spirit all one god guess who is back helen is back today alongside with isaac isaac is our storyteller today and helen is doing the sunday school for us today all i can say sit back relax and enjoy the show in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen dear god thank you for your word the bible thank you for jesus thank you for the holy spirit thank you for helping us to understand our bible story today in jesus name amen our bible story today is from the gospel of john chapter 3 from verse 1 to verse 17. jesus is in conversation with a very important person and jesus told him very truly i tell you no one can see the kingdom of god unless you are born again what does that mean born again god transforms us so that we can be a new person a new creation and this is what we all need and how can we do that by trusting in god believing in god accepting jesus as your lord and savior so now let's hand over to helen and hear the rest of the story helen over to you two Jesus by night and say to him, Rabbi, you know that you're a teacher who has come, come from God. No one can do these things that you do. Apart from the presence of God, Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born? After having grown old, can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of what and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I say to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sounds of it. But do you do not know where it comes from or where it goes? So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, are you a teacher of Israel? And yet you do not understand these things. For truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. And see yet you do not also our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except one 
all descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpents in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God loved the world, that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that God wants us to believe in heavenly things. He wants us to have faith. Well done! Now, I'll tell you the answer. What is it? Yeah, what is it? It's 12! Aww! Yay! Sorry for not believing in you. It's okay. You'll get it next time. Hug? Hug. Aww. Thank you very much, Isaac. Thank you very much, Helen. That was amazing. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love that we may truly worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed our Bible story today. We wish to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.